Deputy Opposition Leader Susan Lee, just on that point before we get to the Commonwealth Games. So the expectation is there's probably about 150,000 jobs that will eventually be lost. Is that just a byproduct of tackling inflation, Susan? It's just part of the pain that this Anthony Albanese government is wreaking across the country. I'm in the middle of two weeks of cost of living visits across the eastern seaboard, Pete, and I can tell you here in Queensland, it really is starting to bite. I visit businesses where their electricity bill has jumped 30%. I talk to people who are sitting having a quiet beer in a pub on a Sunday afternoon and working out that, you know, they'll get three schooners from their jug of beer and then they might have to go home. I mean, this is awful for a lot of Australian families. So when you talk about unemployment statistics, we also have to remember that behind every one of those is a family that's lost an income and the ensuing struggle because of that. So as I always say, when we talk about the Reserve Bank and the possible raising of rates, the Reserve Bank is doing their job, but the government is not doing its job. On to uh, the Victorian Commonwealth Games that now won't be the case. John Coates mentioned this last night, the reputational damage that this will cause to the country. How much reputational damage has it caused, in your view, not just for Victoria, but for the country as a whole? Well, that's exactly right. It's reputational damage to Australia. People from overseas who see us as a sporting nation, of course, we all have seen Victoria as a sporting state, don't distinguish between the state of Victoria and the country as a whole. It's an international embarrassment, pure and simple. It's humiliating for us as a country to have to look at what Daniel Andrews has done uh, in completely mishandling this issue. And it's classic Daniel Andrews, you know, uh, accepting no responsibility whatsoever. But Anthony Albanese couldn't get away from this fast enough. And the questions for the Prime Minister are, he needs to reassure Australians that the Commonwealth Games, having been ditched so brutally by Daniel Andrews, we need to back in 100% the Olympic Games in Queensland. I'm here in Queensland. People are very mm. excited. Uh, well, there's no doubt about that. Premier to... Anastasia Palaszczuk Absolutely. said there's no doubt about that. Well, let's hear from the Prime Minister. Let's hear from the Prime Minister. And let's also hear from the Prime Minister about what he's going to do to restore Australia's reputation. We've got premiers who are Labor Party across the country, mainland Australia, and they're all effectively turning their back on this. Yeah. Now, this is the Prime Minister's leadership that we need to see here, Pete, because it is a national issue. It is about Australia's reputation. It is about brand Australia. And when I listen to the athletes this morning on your program and others, I mean, it's heartbreaking when you consider what they've, what they've done in terms of their training, what this means for yeah. them. And we actually need a Prime Minister who takes responsibility for Australia's reputation when it comes to sport. Given the last Commonwealth Games had to be saved by Birmingham, the next one now is in deep trouble. Uh, there is a move to try and get Canada to do 2030, but they don't want it. More broadly, are we looking at the end of the Commonwealth Games? I hope not, because everybody who invests cares and believes in sport, knows how important the Commonwealth Games, the Olympic Games and the World Championships are. Now, we see it as elite athletes, of course, but consider the inspiration that this gives to young people everywhere, to kids in schools, to, have, to see their heroes on a national and a world stage, to aspire to be good and be the best in their sport. And maybe not be the best, but be somebody who takes to the field or takes to the track or gets involved. Sport is about much more than elite competition. It's about activity. It's about activity in our schools, across our communities and the involvement of families in every single step okay. of that. So Final one I think it's really important, as I said, that... Yep. Sorry, Sue, Sue, I thought you were wrapping up then. Just a final point on Jim Chalmers. I'm almost out of time, but I want to get you on this just briefly. He's hoping for China to remove trade barriers ahead of the Prime Minister's proposed visit by the end of the year, possibly. Would you be urging that as well? Well, we wish the government well with this, but we also know they have to take into consideration the bounty on, the, on an Australian resident, journalists detained in China, and always backing in and protecting our national interest, not taking a step away from that. But, of course, we would like to see those sanctions removed. And as I often say to all of our rural viewers on Sky, we know in rural Australia how important that is. Susan Lee, appreciate it. We'll talk to you soon.